We have a very interesting gospel today because as Jesus comes into his own town, the people bring to him a paralytic lying on a stretcher. And he says, courage, your sins are forgiven. Well, I suspect that's not what the paralytic wanted to hear. He wanted a cure. But Jesus wanted to teach about the forgiveness of sins. And so we have the scribes. They're thinking this man is blaspheming. And then Jesus turns and says, which is easier to say? Your sins are forgiven or rise and walk. And then he raises the paralytic. Well, these many years later in our lives, perhaps like that paralytic, we are looking for physical healing in our daily lives. But Jesus perhaps gives us healing in other ways. Perhaps it's forgiveness of our sins, spiritual healing. Perhaps it's emotional healing. Perhaps it's psychological. But we have to understand that Jesus always hears our prayers and answers them not with what we ask all the time, but with what we need. So let's turn to the Lord, open ourselves to Jesus, and let him speak to us as he did to this paralytic. If he wants to say to us, your sins are forgiven, if he wants to say to us, arise and walk, if he wants to touch us with other healing, that's his will. Let's ask him for the help, the strength, the grace we need to accept God's way. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.